Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Ryan and I'm a former Royal Marines Commando from the United Kingdom. And today we're going to find out how to become a US Army Sniper. Now, I know a lot about how to become a, a Royal Marine Sniper. I wasn't a Royal Marine Sniper, but um, the Commando Sniper course is among one of the finest in the world and it's a very, very hard course. So I'd imagine the US Army Sniper course is equally, if not harder. All right, guys. So before we get into this one, like, share and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below if you think this is a harder sniper course than your country's all right let me know what your thoughts are guys at one of their premium plans right now 46 candidates arrive at the u.s army sniper school in fort benning georgia every seven weeks typically only four graduate think you have what it takes that's what we'll find out today yeah so that's quite a high um, turnover rate it's it's about the same with most sniper courses, guys, all right? You'll find that it's um, it, you have to be quite a specific type of person to be able to pass a sniper course. Most people think it's just about firing a weapon. It's not. It's so much more than that. You've got to be quite intelligent. You've got to be a very, very good soldier as well on the ground because you operate normally by yourself or with one other member. So you've got to be really all over your skills and drills, guys. It's not an easy um, course at all. Today, in this episode of the Infographic Show, how to become a US Army Sniper. Pulling the trigger is only half the battle. You're going to need to know more than just guns. Excellent proficiency in physics and mathematics is a must-have for any would-be sniper. When your only job on a battlefield is to be accurate, and a single shot could turn the tide of a battle, a US Army Sniper must be able to calculate the effect that wind, gravity, distance, and even the Coriolis effect, the effect of the Earth's rotation on a moving object, will all cumulatively have on a bullet as it travels through the air. Before you even get to sniper school though, you'll undergo the Army Physical Fitness Test with your home unit and you're expected to earn top marks. You'll also need experience as an infantry, cavalry, or special forces soldier, and you must have earned an extremely high score in the Armed Forces Vocational Aptitude Battery. Next, you'll undergo a thorough psychological evaluation since you'll be spending most of your career alone in a two-man crew, and the US Army needs to know that you have the mental fortitude to handle the pressures of the job and isolation both. Let's See, that's what I was talking about before, guys. Many people think it's just about, you know, pulling the trigger, and it's not, all right? We've re we've spoke about this. It's about being... Um, you've got to be a fantastic soldier. You've got to be able to operate behind enemy lines, potentially by yourself for days, potentially weeks at a time by yourself or with another member of a team in order to facilitate the movement of your troops, okay? And that might mean keeping an eye on an enemy target for a long, long period of time, which takes an awful lot of discipline. You've got to think about it. When no one else is watching and you're there by yourself, you've got to be able to stay positive stay professional stay motivated um, against all of those odds and not a lot of people can do that when they're by themselves a lot of times you, know, you see people who work well in teams why because other people can be there to validate their their um their, their kind of being they can validate their experience they can validate you know how well they're doing and some people need that validation snipers you know if you if you're a person who requires a pat on the back for doing good then sniper course is not for you because there's no one there to pat you on the back when you're doing well, guys. Trust me. Let's say you pass all those requirements and make it to day one of sniper school, though. Well, the first thing you can expect is yet another physical fitness test, followed by a marksmanship test with the M4 assault rifle using only iron sights. Fail either test, and that's it for you. You go home. At the start of your second week, you'll be faced with your next pass or fail test. You and your class will camouflage yourself on one of the school's wilderness courses and maintain your position for hours while instructors search for you with high-powered optics. You'll be expected to ignore the scorching Georgia heat, crawling ants, spiders, snakes, and other creepy crawlies. If you move or are spotted, you automatically fail the course. You'll also undergo target detection training, and you'll be taught to use your eyes, binoculars, and rifle scope to detect targets. These skills will be tested throughout the week, and failure means you go home. Weeks three... Th you'll probably have guessed by now, guys, if you make one mistake on the sniper course, and this is the same as well in the Royal Marines, actually, it'll probably be the same the world over. Um, you fail one thing, you're off the course. Why? 
Why is it that you don't get a second chance or a third chance? Well, guess what, guys? When it comes to pulling the trigger on an enemy target, high-profile target, you may only get one chance to do that. You might not get a second or a third. The mission, whole mission and battle group might be dependent on that one shot. So if you screw up, you failed. A lot of lives could be at risk, and that's the reason why. If you mess up once, then you're off the course. You don't deserve to be there because it's just that. The variables are that close, guys, okay, with the sniper. And I think it should be that way. It means if you've made it to the end of the sniper course and you've passed that course, you know you've getting there without failing a single thing. So that's in your brain. So that actually will relate to future missions. Actually, I'm here because I'm really good at what I do. I don't mess up. There's no messing up with me. I'm going to hit that shot every single time. So it's, uh, it's all building that character of the sniper okay through five we'll pair you with another student and you'll both swap as shooter and spotter the spotter is responsible for calculating wind and other environmental effects feeding his shooter the critical data needed to make an accurate shot throughout these three weeks you'll spend your time either in the classroom or at the range testing your mental fitness and marksmanship both if you fail any of the marksmanship tests you go home you'll spend six weeks learning how to shoot from different positions as a sniper rarely ever shoots from the famous prone firing position you'll be forced to contort your body uncomfortably hold the position for hours at a time and still deliver an accurate shot to a predetermined target failure means you go home your final and Okay, that, that bit I don't actually agree with when he says, you you know, a, a sniper rarely shoots in a, in a comfortable um, prone position. Um, I disagree with that, okay? It depends on the situation entirely. And if you've gotten yourself into a situation where you're lying on your back upside down trying to take a shot, then you're... <laughs> guys, you, you know, it, it's not how it works. So, yeah, don't agree with that bit. But infographics doesn't get everything right, you know. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that, guys, in the comments. In seventh week will be a test of all your previous lessons. You will plan and execute a sniper and counter-sniper mission, undergoing urban infiltration and hide setup techniques. You'll then move to the woods and learn to build subsurface hides, meticulously camouflaged holes in the ground where a sniper may live for days at a time in a real world mission. Finally, yeah, you won't be <laughs> you won't be playing video games in that situation, guys, trust me. You'll undergo a final culmination exercise which will test your skills in stalking, detecting a target, estimating range and accurate shooting. Failure in any element of the course means, you guessed it, you go home. The US Army employs some of the deadliest snipers in the world, and of all that apply, only a tiny percentage will ever reach graduation. One thing that won't be anywhere near this complicated in the future is building a website with Wix. It's an awesome platform for anybody, whether you're a complete beginner. Right, so let's talk about Wix. Um, how to become a US Army sniper. Yeah, I mean, it's it goes without saying, guys, US Army snipers among the best in the world. And as you can tell, the failure rate is high. And, the, you know, if you fail one thing, you're getting sent home. Simple as that. And I think it needs to be that way. If you disagree with that, let me know in the comments. Or if you agree, let me know why you agree. I think that the sniper course should be that way. You should be one fail in your home. Because the mission requires you not to be a failing type of person. All right, you've got to be able to succeed no matter what. But if you got this far, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one, troops. Peace.